I'm Phil Nee with a look at WRCO News. The Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources announced that the special burning permit required for 13 Wisconsin counties has been lifted as of today. The rescinding of this special fire order applies to the following 13 extensive DNR protection area counties outside incorporated cities and villages, all of Columbia, Crawford, Green Lake, Marquette, Portage, Richland, Sauk, Wapaka, Washera counties, and portions of Oconto, Dane, Grant, and Iowa counties. A special fire order allows the DNR to suspend burning when fire danger is elevated. Due to prolonged drought conditions, the original permit reinstatement went into effect on October 15th. According to the National Weather Service, moderate to severe drought conditions impacted Wisconsin in late summer and fall. Recent soaking rain events combined with cooler weather across the state have decreased the overall fire danger across the state, allowing the DNR to cancel the special fire order. Traditionally, DNR burn permits are required in extensive protection areas from January 1st through May 31st, anytime the ground is not snow-covered. Despite the improved conditions, the public is still encouraged to exercise caution when having any kind of fire, as the fire danger changes daily, and it's important to check with local fire officials before conducting any outdoor burning. Democratic Attorney General Josh Call says access to abortion in Wisconsin could not continue if a federal ban is enacted. In light of the Dobbs decision, there is no federal constitutional protection provided for abortion that goes beyond the basic protections we have with any laws that are enacted. And so the passage of a federal abortion ban would have enormous consequences for abortion access in Wisconsin and in other states where, where there currently is access. So I don't want to uh, give people false hope that there, if there is a federal abortion ban passed that there's likely to be a successful legal challenge. I, I think on the contrary, if Congress does pass a ban, people are looking at having their uh, access to safe and legal abortion taken away. President-elect Donald Trump said during the campaign that he would also veto a nationwide ban. The Wisconsin Supreme Court will hear oral arguments on Monday in a case about abortion access in the state. The Kickapoo High School student body will be performing a variety show tonight at 7 o'clock in the Kickapoo High School Auditorium. A wide variety of music will be performed, which includes different genres of music from past decades to the present, including music from a popular movie. Catherine Miller is director of the event. Our theme is Can't Stop the Feeling. So we're doing a lot of songs from the movie Trolls, and that's kind of our biggest feature to start the show, which can encapsulate a lot of different kinds of music. And that piece specifically, we're doing a barbershop version of it, so it's really cool. Many of the songs were chosen by the students performing them. There is a good blend of music throughout the show. We definitely open and close with our big group numbers with the choirs. And then I would say, as I was looking at the order, we're kind of going up tempo and then, you know, slow it down and just a lot of variety in between. So keep the audience engaged. Admission to the event is a free will offering with the proceeds going to the food pantry and Kickapoo Music Department. Everyone is welcome to attend the Kickapoo High School Variety Show tonight at 7 o'clock in the Kickapoo High School Auditorium. Greece School Edition will be presented for the second time tonight by the Richland School District Foundation and the Richland Center High School in the Richland Center High School Auditorium. The popular music takes place uh, back in the 1950s and tells the story of Sandy, Danny, and the other characters at Rydell High. Greece not only feature many familiar songs, but also a lot of choreography. Grayson Banker plays Danny in the musical. With Greece, there is a ton of dancing, more than, you know, last year we at Cinderella there was you know there we had the ball and that was pretty slow laid back stuff but this is a complete 10 levels up so it's been difficult but it's been very very fun to see this choreography and it's all played out really well. Enjoy the music and fun of Greece School Edition presented by the Richland School District Foundation and the Richland Center High School. Performances will be tonight at 7 and tomorrow afternoon at 2 in the Richland Center High School Auditorium. Tickets available at the door are $10 for ages 7 and up and $6 for ages 6 and under. Activity tickets will not be accepted. Doors will open 30 minutes prior to the show. Dan Koba and the Journeymen will be playing a Veterans Tribute concert at the Richland Center City Auditorium tonight. Koba is not a veteran, but he says he is proud of his family members and others who are. The first song that I ever wrote about the veterans was called Name Tag. 
and name tag was about two guys that met at my 50th class reunion and the last time that they saw each other one carried the other one out of the rice paddies of Vietnam with four holes in his back well when I saw this these two guys hugging uh, PTSD is a real thing and so you gotta you know you gotta be cautious about this stuff so I asked permission if I could write about what I just saw and they agreed to it Dan Rennish, when we were in eighth grade, moves away. And Mary Hazy, who ended up marrying Dwayne Bloor, uh, was in my class. And Dan Rennish called me up. Him and I have always stayed close. He called me up and he said, are you guys having a 50th? And I said, yes, we are. He says, could I come? And I said, sure. So I got him an invite. And... Uh, Dwayne sees this guy's name tag, and next thing they're hugging because Dwayne said to him, I thought you were dead. And the rest of the story is that he carried him out of the rice paddies. It was, it, it's just an amazing story. Tonight's show, the auditorium will feature a variety of songs. We're still going to do Mustang Sally and Pink Sunglasses and church lady and all the other stuff that you guys play here. But then the last five songs of the first set is going to be uh, from the Apache Blues CD. And then I've got a special gift, I guess we're going to call it. Um, I'm going to do a solo, God Bless the USA. And then the the next set is going to be a covers and, and originals and whatever, but we'll rock the house. The show starts at 7 and doors will open at 6 tonight. The cost of the program is $20 per person and all tickets will be sold at the door. All proceeds will benefit local veteran efforts. Refreshments will also be sold at the event. Everyone with some pre-holiday fun uh, is, if you're looking for that tomorrow, you'll be uh, able to be a part of the annual Smiles for a Child, the toy drive that starts Sunday at Julie Karen State Farm Insurance. The Rock and Reindeer Party will be held. That's been pushed to start at 1 o'clock tomorrow in the office parking lot in downtown Richland Center. Co-organized by the Ithaca Lions Club and Ombre's Motorcycle Club, applications for Smiles for a Child will be available the day after the Rock and Reindeer Park lot party. Marilyn Gilligan is a member of the Ombres. When the parents fill out the application, they know exactly what their child wants, and they stay right in that price range. Sometimes they'll give us even SKU numbers and prices, you mm. know, so we know exactly what that child wants. And I guess we could talk about raising it, you know, $5 or so, but yeah, that we can usually get what a, a good-sized bag and several toys for each child. And then, of course, like all the toys that are donated from from the Julie's uh, event going on, we have all those that we can either fill tags from or when we're done setting up the distribution, we have all these extra toys and we go through all the bags and add more toys, the extra toys that people give us. So they usually go out there with a good sized bag and there's a lot of stuff under the tree for the kids on Christmas morning. As Marilyn Gilligan explains, toys will be available for pickup on Saturday, December 14th at the Richland Center Community Center. And it's the same as what we've always done. It's uh, at the community center, toy distribution, and it'll be the drive through Same as what we've done for several years since COVID came along. And then yep. it works out very nice. We have people in the front of the building with walkie-talkies, walkie-talking inside, telling them what numbers the people need on the bags and then they drive around the back and we bring them out, put them in the car and they take off. Yeah. Simple, simple. The Rock and Reindeer Parking Lot Party Benefit the Smiles for a Child Toy Drive is being hosted by Julie Karen State Farm Insurance on Sunday tomorrow. And again, it starts at 1 o'clock in downtown Richland Center. Applications for Smiles for a Child will be available at the Richland County Health and Human Services Building starting on Monday and must be turned in no later than Wednesday, November 27th. Toys will be available for pickup on Saturday, December 14th at the Richland Center Community Center. Monetary donations for smiles for a child are welcome anytime.
And also enjoy a pancake breakfast and help out a neighbor tomorrow. The Ithaca Lions Club will host a pancake breakfast fundraiser for Chris Coe. Pancakes with all the extras will be served from 7 until 12.30 at the Ithaca High School Commons. That's uh, tomorrow, and the cost is $10 for adults, $5 for students, and free for preschoolers. There will also be a bake sale and a silent and live auction tomorrow at Ithaca.